Good afternoon. Welcome to Grain TV. My name is Cody Bills. This is Brock Shimano. Today is Thursday the 30th and we had the market moving higher here. Let's take a look at the trading platform, see where we closed off the day. Corn for March delivery trading up six cents. Soybeans trading up five and three quarter cents. Wheat in Chicago up two cents. And the Kansas City wheat contract trading up two cents. Brock, export sales was uh, really the report early this morning that seemed to drive the trade. What did we see there? Were there any big surprises? Yeah, you know, we did see positive export sales across the, across the board for all three commodities, corn, soybeans, and wheat. Uh, in particular, the numbers that were reported this morning uh, for this year and combined uh, totals for next year as well. Uh, corn, most of these sales, or actually all these sales were in the old crop. 1.837 million metric tons were sold uh, during last week. Soybeans, a combined total for this year and next of 865,000 metric tons. That was right within analyst expectations, and wheat came in at 796,000 metric tons, most of that in the old crop, however. Uh, so that beat analyst expectations again. You know, once again. Uh, so, like I said, very positive across the board, especially that corn number coming in at 1.8 uh, million metric tons. Take a look at where we stand for this marketing year. You can see on, on the, the corn chart here, uh, the red line is the seasonal pace to meet the current USD projections. The blue bar is what we saw this week for uh, for weekly sales. You can see we beat the seasonal pace rather handily this week. Uh, on the year, we're standing about 246 million bushels ahead of pace to meet the current USD projections. Uh, for wheat, uh, we are ahead of pace there to meet the current USD projections as well. We beat the seasonal pace again uh, this week. Uh, on the year, we're running about 66 million bushels ahead of pace, but although we have fallen off uh, substantially from where we were earlier in the year, we're heading towards the end of the marketing year there for wheat, so we should see that the sales start to slow up a little bit for this marketing year, but for next marketing year, we should see them start to pick up here a little bit as well. Yeah, it definitely seems when you uh, look at the next uh, slide here, uh, you'll see the chart here for the March soybean contract. This is a daily chart, so each day represents one, uh, each bar represents one day worth of price activity. And really what I see here is I, I see a weakening chart. It's definitely uh, kind of concerning to me. I'm looking at this and I'm saying, you know, back around November 15th, uh, we had the first shoulder uh, in what I, I think is really shaping up similar to, kind of to a head and shoulders type pattern. We had the first shoulder, it was an attempt to, to break out, make some new highs. Uh, we ended up uh, having, having lows down around that 1255 area. Then we made another high in December. And in that high, it was able to hold. We, we ended up kind of trending a little bit higher, but in kind of an expanding triangle um, pattern. And that was a little bit bearish there. Uh, just because we were unable to uh, make the new highs, we ended up selling off back down to that original neckline printed in November. And then, of course, we tried one last time in January, but we're unable to get back into those highs that we had printed in December. So to me, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, you know, we had three uh, attempts at rallying here. Uh, the last one seemed to fail. And now we're sitting uh, kind of at this support level right around this 1260. And, uh, and I'm a little concerned that if we break through that, we may see some significant selling here. And when you look at the fundamentals, the fundamentals really seem to line up with this technical chart. We have South America coming on uh, with a pretty significant crop, particularly in Brazil. And I'm concerned that that's going to weigh a lot on U.S. prices. You know, today we did fail to get above that trend line and stay above the trend line. We did trade it for a time above it. Um, but yesterday we broke through it rather sharply. I, I think we might be seeing a little bit of a roll re re reversal uh, on this trend line right now. It could be resistance on the way back up. We, we did get up back above the 200 day moving average. We weren't able to, uh, we were able to hold it, but we're sitting right on that. So I think that's going to be a critical area to watch as well. That's right in the 1275 area. Um, but I'm right there with you, Cody. I think the fundamentals are starting to shape up uh, to pressure this market a little bit. Even today, we saw Cargill announce this afternoon that they're going to be shutting one of their soybean processing plants in North Carolina uh, due to soy meal demand backing off a little bit. And supplies coming out of South America are going to be rather large. So I think that's going to continue to pressure the, uh, the soybean market here moving forward. That sounds fair enough. Guys, thanks a lot for tuning in. If you have any questions about what we talked about today, give us a call at 877-472-4607. And remember, you can take a demo of the trading platform by going to grainhedge.com. We have a mobile trading platform now. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and take a demo at grainhedge.com. And we'll be in touch. Thanks a lot for tuning in. We'll see you here tomorrow.